Okay. You were Don Deontay? <laughs> yeah, talk yes. It's video, so go ahead. Oh, it's a video. Oh, it's a oh. video. <laughs> <laughs> we're posing. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, stand up. So. so tomorrow, we're going to try an auxiliary belt. And the goal of this belt is going to see if we can add some side-to-side -side stability for Deontay going side-to-side -side with his movements on the tennis court. So this is going to fit right onto the hip, just like so. We're going to have an attachment to the outside of the prosthetic here. Everything you do to put the prosthesis on is going to be the same. Nothing changes. This is just going to be the last step that will be an optional item for you to utilize when you're playing tennis. Okay. Uh, if you like it well enough, you can use it every day. If not, it's going to be... Apple is step. Yep, yep, I'll show you. This is basically... I'm going to go like this. We'll come through here. You familiar with Velcro? Mm -hmm. Velcro? Yes? Yes. No. So Velcro sticks to itself. Oh, okay. Okay? Understood. Yeah, so we're just going to put this back up here. Touch that together, so now we're attached. Come around the waist. And I haven't put the Velcro on the front end yet, but we're going to come through here. Back to ourself. And now we've got this belt in place. Okay? Gotcha. Very good. Okay. You feeling comfortable getting it on and off now? After doing it a few more times today? Mm -hmm. Good. And you stood up and you were listening for more clicks. Mm -hmm. and there were no more to go. Okay? Um, so when you get really good at it, you could actually count them down as you go into your socket. You have to listen very carefully. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is the most it gets. Pum, pum, pum. You can listen and count to yourself uh -huh. to know when you're fully into your socket. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that happened today, later on, later into the training session, about an hour and a half in, you started feeling a little bit of pressure here, right? Mm -hmm. that. When that happens, you're going to go right to your top strap, give it about three to four more clicks to tighten things up, to hold you supported up in the top of your leg, mm -hmm. and not the bottom. Yes. And talk about the stride. Oh, yeah. Talk about the stride? Yes. So, so when you get back home, down there, um, I want you to use the crutches while you're learning to walk. And the reason for that is you've already proven today you can walk without crutches. But the gait is not nearly as even or symmetrical as it is when you have the crutches. So we want to use the crutches to work on step symmetry and keeping your shoulders back, keeping your head erect, so that your gait becomes much more natural and much more normal, okay? You can learn to walk with that prosthetic. I've got plenty of patients that do it, but your gait or your walking habit will be poor with a long, excuse me, left side, long prosthetic step, short side, right step. Long left step, short right step. It'll get you where you want to go, but not very efficiently, okay? We have to wait until the muscles strengthen enough so that the steps are even and symmetrical with every stroke. And we can throw them aside, work on going completely unassisted at a nice slow pace at first, and then the knee will keep up. We speed up, boom, 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 boom. Even steps, the faster you get, the longer the strides, always with equal stride length, equal step length all along the way. Okay. okay. All right. We had a good start today. Good practice. I thought I'd be back home, huh? No. You had not that much humidity at home? We do, but yeah. it wasn't not like that. Yeah, that was sweltering. Crazy. All right, do you have any questions for me? Yeah. So I'll give you a, you can, uh, one thing you won't have to do tonight, while you were gone, I went ahead and charged up your battery there. Place and you're good to go for tonight. You know, relax after the meeting tonight, the dinner, and uh, take it easy. Try to get a night's sleep. Um, I talked to Jeff tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna try to instill, make sure we're recording tomorrow. Uh, some more exercises for you to take home. Mm -hmm. um, he wants to really dial in on working on those side to side movements that are so important to the tennis game, right? Mm -hmm. More, and he also wants to see if we can kind of get some volley going back and forth between the two. Of them. Okay. okay. Sound good? Yep. All right. Excellent. Uh, Megan should be here. Excellent. You act like that was no big deal. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come back up.
Good. We're going to let that foot half off. We'll ride it down to the step below. Good. Yes. Excellent. Have that feel. Good. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Good job. Turn and come back. Go over the step. Good. Right off. Excellent. That looks so natural. Wonderful. So we want to, when we're home, okay, we're just going to practice one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time until you get comfortable with it, right? And we'll see if we can do multiple steps. Good. Again, come back. Yep. Half off. Ride the resistance down. Good. 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 That feel comfortable? To this step right here. Number three. One. Good. Two. And up one more. Three. Good. All right. So we want to always practice this in an area where we've got masters or handrails on both sides. That's it. And then that step's going to go all the way down here. And then ride down to all the way past. Good. Go back up to number three. Two. Three. Good. Okay. Halfway off. Down there. And then land there and down. That's it. Good. Go up again. That's it. Good. Good. Okay. Yes. And land. And yes. That's much better. Yay! Okay. Yeah, I, I saw the last step. <laughs> yes. All right, That's let's, awesome. Let's go up a few more. Nice work. Thank you. That is advanced stair descent. Okay. So not only can you use that technique when you're going down steps, but let's say you've got a very steep hill you want to go down, right? The same technique. Rather than trying to lock the knee out with each step, you step, ride that resistance of the hydraulics to the step below. That's pretty awesome. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Let's, we're in the hallway here. Yep. Say hello. Let's work on our on the side to side step, right? So we're just going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. That's it. Good. 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 Excellent. Good. 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 These two. Okay, hold on just a minute. Stop right there. Anytime you step out and you're starting to feel a little wobbly, you're going to have to tighten up your glutes, tighten up your buttocks. Okay, you know how we squeeze our butt. So you just keep going here. There you go. Tighten. Good. That's it. That's you into the prosthetic and control. In control. Good. Good. All the way back. All the way back. Good. Good. Okay, take a break. Good. Okay, so we're going to come back. Good. Ah, that's okay. That's it. Mm-hmm. Swing through. There you go, that was better. Good. All right, turn around. So, let's say the right foot comes up. Right foot first, yep, and then you're going to come, yep, yep, you're going to release that knee and get high in the air. Good. We'll go all the way across. Try to plant it. There's your obstacle. That's it, yes. Perfect. Good. And then you just keep right on rolling, right back to your normal step. So, you're going to activate that knee, get your heel on one, bring it back. Get your heel on two, bring it back. Get your heel on three, bring it back. Get your heel on four, bring it back. Heel on five, bring it back. Heel on six, bring it back. Okay? Have your crutch. Let's start with the crutch. Let's start with the crutch. How we kick the ball? Mm -hmm. I want you to make that knee release. Touch one, come back. Oh. Yes, and come back. Two, come back. Three, come back. Four and back. Five and back. Six and back. Okay, now that prosthetic is here behind you. Load that knee. 
Let's pretend that ball is number one, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to kick out and then drive the heel. Yep, and plant, and then back. Good. That's it. And then back. Good. Yes, make the knee release and back. Make the knee Four, and back. Good. Five, and back. Good. Six, and back. Good. That'll wear you out, right? <laughs> yes, that is really working those muscles. Three, back. Four, back, six, back, good. Do it again. One through six exercise. But at first, go slow and controlled so that you are in control of the prosthetic and you are determining where it goes, where it lands. Okay? Mm -hmm. All based on how you tighten those muscles in your thigh to control the knee and to control where it lands in space. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's do that one more time. Little pieces of tape on the floor, anywhere you want. One and back, two and back, three and back, good. Four and back, five and back, six and back, good. Excellent. Good job. All right. Any it's final morning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is Deontay's final day. We leave tomorrow. So we're getting last minute instructions. Yep, yep. So we're just going to go over everything again from start to finish. So um, roll the liner onto your limb, making sure you have full contact at the bottom. Yep. All the way to the top. Okay. Once you've got that in place, you're going to push down into the socket so that you engage into the locking mechanism as far as you can while you're seated. You're going to stand up, push more weight into the prosthetic to get fully seated down into the socket. Then you're going to sit down. You're going to ratchet up. And then you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to pull these until you feel snug and secure so that the prosthetic does not feel like it's moving on you. Okay? okay. Finally, <clears throat> we're going to wrap the belt around your waist, making sure that you get the soft pad right on top of your pelvis here, yep. on the bony area, not into the soft tissue. tissue. Right. So you get structural support through the Velcro chafe on the front. And again, you're going to pull this to a comfortable position for yourself, all right? Okay. When you're playing tennis, you may want to give it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. When you're just walking about the community, you may want to relax it a bit more, all right? Those are things for you to keep in mind. Your battery each night, and you know how to do that. You get a good charge last night. Yep. Okay, battery comes out of the knee. The label is always facing towards the user, so the label always facing towards you, right? Yep. That way the anodes on the bottom will match up with the anodes down into the knee joint. When you place the battery into the compartment and you push to close on the back side, you see the green light come on, mm -hmm. you know you have power. Once we know that's good, you're ready to roll, okay? Um, if you have debris inside the socket, if you get some sand or some grass or whatever, you can just wipe that out with a soft cloth, okay? okay. Uh, up in the soft pads in the top, which you're actually getting skin contact with. If these get dirty and debris, you can just take a, a cloth, soap and water, soap them up, clean them up, take a clean cloth without the soap, just with water, and wipe it out. But one thing for you to remember as an above knee amputee, we want to take really good care of this foot. So, when you go to the tennis courts, so you're sweating this is the, good, the good foot. The good foot, yes, we're talking about the right foot for a moment here. Uh, be a good idea to always carry an extra pair of socks with you, okay? okay? So that you can, when you feel that foot getting wet or you're feeling that foot moving around inside your tennis shoe, tell the coach, I need a break. Take a minute, take that shoe and sock off and get a dry sock on your foot.